Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the assignment walkthrough for Watch 1020 Introduction to JavaScript Programming for the Web, the DOM Basics assignment. So this is our first exploration of how JavaScript interfaces with the HTML in the web browser. And we call that the document object model. And that the document object model, the DOM, provides us with an API that we can use from within JavaScript to modify the HTML on a page. And so that's what we're going to play with today. What we're going to do is create a fortune cookie generator. And this fortune cookie generator is going to allow us to um, make fortune cookie sayings for people when they click a button. So they're going to see a page like this. And it says here, click the button to generate a saying. And when they click this make my fortune button, they will uh, have a new saying placed into this box here and so and then the previous sayings will get put into a list down here so that they can see what previous fortunes were available so um, to accomplish that the uh, there are a few files provided for you um, the first one of course is the index.html file we'll take a look at that right here this file is a pretty vanilla HTML file. You can feel free to enhance it or modify it if you wish to achieve the stretch goals or do something else um, sort of cool with your project. A couple things to point out are just that, first of all, you have a style sheet attached and you also have a JavaScript file attached. Those are the external files that you will use that will modify the presentation of this HTML. You then have a uh, fortune cookie saying wrapper the wrapper is what gets styled to look like the fortune cookie around it, so it has the border and the padding and everything. And then you have the fortune cookie text, and the fortune cookie text is the actual element that you'll be able to grab and modify the text within this element in order to make your fortune cookie show up. You also have a button that um, is used to make my fortune. You will need to use an on click attribute to add the action that will make this button execute the generate fortune cookie function when um, the user clicks it. And then you will also need to add previous fortunes as list items to this unordered list that has the ID previous fortunes container. So those are the big changes that are going to happen in the HTML. And a lot of those are actually going to happen via the JavaScript. You know, you do need to add the on click attribute here into the button, but otherwise, um, you know, these changes are actually going to happen in the JavaScript to change the HTML. Your main.css file is quite simple, and uh, you do not, it's in the basic requirements, you don't have to modify the CSS, but for the stretch requirements, um, combining excellent visual style and presentation with excellent JavaScript interactivity is the way that you get a great user interface. And so it's worthwhile to explore how modifying styles can help you as you, um, as you work through this project. Finally, um, you, are, you have your fortune cookie generator.js. And this, this file defines the generate fortune cookie function. And inside this function is where you're going to do all of your work. Um, you're definitely going to have to use a, v a variety of DOM API methods, such as uh, get element by ID and create element. Um, you're also going to access some different attributes like inner text, or if you prefer, you could be using inner HTML. That's fine as well. Um, and then you're also going to use a couple of different math functions. You're going to use math floor and you're going to use math random um, to explore uh, selecting a random item from an, a JavaScript array. This JavaScript array of fortunes is the list of fortunes that you will use to um, display a different fortune saying on the page. There are 51 fortunes in this list. So you should be able to have a really good user experience generating a decent um, set of fortunes for people. You could serve up to a party of 51 people. And, um, and that's basically everything in terms of what you're given and what you have to put together. Now, 
All of this can be done in um, in the files here, and then when you view the web page, you'll see the changes in the HTML. So this is a nice assignment because you don't have to be constantly looking at the console to see the, the results of your work. So we're moving from doing work that we only see in the console to doing work that we see both in the console and in um, and in the actual uh, uh, web page. But the web page itself is still incredibly useful for working with um, working with this assignment, and so I, I still strongly recommend um, using um, your snippets, and I have a, a snippet here that I was using to experiment um, where I can play this, I can run the snippet, and as you see, um, I can make this. Uh, I can run this snippet. Oh, I paused it in the debugger. I'll let it go. And um, and when I run this snippet, you can see that if I grab the variable cookie container, it actually gets the cookie container properly. I can modify the text in cookie container by modifying the inner text attribute. Um, and you see that the inner text actually changes. So that's, um, that's, you know, kind of how all of this stuff gets connected. And you can do a lot of experimentation even in the snippets here. So if you wanted to experiment, um, you know, with how to create an element or how to get elements by ID or any of the other chunks of code that you're going to have to write, experiment here in your snippets view again, using your console as well. And you'll be able to see things come out over here. And then you can translate all of that stuff into your actual functions once you're once you're done. So that's basically how I recommend working on this. That's what you're working with. And the goal here is to create a cool little fortune cookie generator. This could be a fun little portfolio piece if you if you uh you know um sassed it up a little bit. You could um the stretch goals ask you to do or suggest doing a couple of things. So for example, right now it's currently possible to select the same fortune twice in a row because random numbers you could randomly select the same number twice in a row so maybe you could um, figure out a way to prevent selecting the same um, the same fortune until you've run through the entire list of fortunes or at least not twice in a row uh, you also could add a bunch of cute visuals so you could add CSS don't forget that using transitions on CSS can make for some really cool effects and you might be able to trigger transitions by adding and removing classes. You might explore some of the ways that you can add and remove classes and or set CSS attributes via JavaScript as well. That, that's all part of the DOM API as well. Um, you can show some additional statistics on the page. Uh, how long did it take to generate the fortunes? Um, how many fortunes have you generated so far? Things like that. Um, and you could also allow people to generate fortunes for more than just one fortune at a time. So maybe somebody could say, oh, I want fortunes for four people, and you could generate four fortune cookies. Uh, all of that is possible, and um, you can explore how to make that happen in the stretch goals if you are able to achieve those base goals. So this assignment is really um, not terribly complicated in terms of the base requirements, but like I say, you can have a lot of fun with it, and there's a lot of ways that you can use this assignment to explore your uh, DOM API and everything that you can do with the DOM. So please don't hesitate to do that and have a, a blast with it and enjoy yourselves and get creative and hopefully make a good portfolio piece. So take care, enjoy experimenting with the DOM and good luck on this assignment.